Hey guys, Stormy here, and it is time again to take another car around the Broadway Village circuit for another attempt at our hot lap challenge. Today we've got the TVR Tuscan S. Now this car I always grew up calling it the Speed 6 because I originally found this car through Gran Turismo 2. It may have been a different version at, the, at that time, but I'm pretty sure it's the same car. So I'm probably just going to refer to it as the Speed 6 this whole time. But that aside, the rules of the series, just in case anyone forgot, I get one chance to upgrade this car to the top of A-Class. I am not allowed to do any driveline or engine conversions. And once I've got the upgrade done, that's it. I am allowed to tune the car, but I only got one shot at it. I take it around the track. I've got three laps to get a feel for the car and a feel for the track. And then I've got three laps where I'm just going to be quiet and just go for it to the best of my abilities and try to get the best lap possible. Now, our current lap record holder is the Mark III Toyota Supra with a time of 51.641 seconds. And that's what we're going to be aiming for today. So hopefully we can beat that. I haven't gotten close to it since then, but we've only driven one car since. And I think the secret sauce for that car may have been in the drag tires, so I think I'm going to try the drag tires again today. Now this car is a bit of an oddball for the series because you can see it's already A-Class 747, so I've only got 53 PI to play with. So this one may be a fairly hard one to do, but I chose this car because I love TVR as a brand, and I love this car in particular. In fact, my favorite car of all time is the TVR Speed 12. So, this is kind of like its little brother, and I just, I love these cars in general. Now, something you might want to see is this car already has a really good power to weight ratio, and that may play to my favor, but we'll see what kind of PI I have to play with when upgrading. But aside from that, I'll get this thing upgraded up and tuned, and then I'll see you guys at the track. Alright guys, so here we are. Let's see how the TVR does. Now, some interesting things about the build. This car actually has the second least power of any car that we've built so far. The only other car that I've built to have less power than this was the Toyota Supra with 377 horsepower. This car only has 390 horsepower. That's the same power that it had standard. So the interesting thing about that though is that the Toyota Supra had 500 pounds extra weight on this car. This car is actually the single lightest car I've built in this competition. It's even lighter than the Toyota 2000 GT. This car's final weight was 2,084 pounds. It's under 2,100 pounds. The Toyota Supra was somewhere in the 2,550 pound range. This car absolutely blows the Toyota Supra out of the water for power to weight ratio. I did put the drag tires on it. And I've already noticed that it has no trouble with traction. So I'm thinking going forward, those may be an essential piece to any car I build on this. Now you can see, I did put a spoiler on the car. And that was actually kind of a hard decision to make. I was kind of afraid that it was going to be too light, and I might not get enough traction on the rear. But the problem is, I wasn't able to get the front splitter, so we may have problems with understeer. Now, I, I'm i not really feeling it right now. I'm not feeling that much understeer, but I'm not pushing the car particularly hard yet. This next lap that I'm coming up onto, that's going to be the one where I really push it. But I'm thinking this car may do pretty well. It is kind of lower on the top speed end of things. 
but I think we're gonna be good for for power to weight and for traction I think we're gonna be pretty good but anyways this is gonna be the lap where I start really pushing the car I'll stop talking now and I'll just let you guys enjoy the car and the driving I cannot believe it. Lap one of the actually trying laps, we beat the Supra. I knew this car had good power to weight, but I didn't realize it was that good. Oh wow, that's impressive. Well, I've got two more laps to see if I can push this thing even farther, so I'm really gonna have to try for this now. Well, I definitely was overdriving the car on that last lap. Yeah, definitely didn't beat that first time. But let me tell you, I was not expecting it to beat the Toyota by so much. It, that's an impressive car right there. A 51.090. That's a really impressive time around here. I'm happy with that. I couldn't be more happy with that. But you know what? <laughs> that car right there? That's your new leader. 51090. Will we be able to get a car to break the 51s in the future? At this rate, I'm thinking yes. I'm thinking the drag tires are probably going to be a necessity around here. Because right now, the two best performing cars, both on drag tires. Both also rear-wheel drive, which is kind of surprising that a rear-wheel drive car can do a time like that around here. I haven't driven any all-wheel drive cars yet. I'm fairly certain, though, that by the time we get an all-wheel drive car going around here, it's probably going to either get close to taking the top spot or it's going to take the top spot. Just purely based off of what I've seen here. I'm thinking all-wheel drive is going to be the way to go. But as of right now, that's <laughs> that's going to be your leader, the TVR Tuscan S. Really happy with that result. Well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope I was entertaining. I'm very grateful for any of you who made it to the end. 
I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you later. Hold on just a second guys before you click off the video. I just wanted to throw in real quick that with that time, I am now in the top 1000 results for this track. Really happy with that. Alright, now for real. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys later.